Greetings, you mighty champions. I'm Pastor Glenn Curry, and we're discovering that our words are heard in heaven, and based on our words, God dispatches angels to help us out. In Daniel chapter 10, verse 12, and in our last lesson, or the lesson before, we talked about, and I read part of Daniel chapter 10 to you, because that shows us the real revelation of the warfare. But it tells us that an angel said to Daniel, maybe the most unusual thing you've ever heard and I've ever heard, the angel, after 21 days of battling in the spirit realm against principalities and powers to try to get to Daniel, letting us know that there is a spiritual warfare, he said, I have come because of your words. And so angels are dispatched from heaven to earth or at least on the other side of our ionosphere, which is Satan's prison wall that he can't go past. He's called the prince and the power of the air or the atmosphere. Uh, Anyway, once they come on this side of the angels come on this side of the atmosphere or the the ionosphere into our atmosphere, there's a battle that takes place. And so I want to give you a a few quick facts about angels, okay? The Bible tells us that angels are ministering spirits sent to minister for those who are heirs of salvation. That's us, Hebrews 1.14. Not just to you, for you. All right. And then in the book of Romans 8.17, it tells us that we're heirs of salvation and the angels come to minister to the heirs of salvation. So it's important to notice from this scripture that angels minister for us, not just to us. And so you can assign, once you know there's power in your words and you start watching your words and stop mixing it with fear, doubt, and unbelief, the things you say, then you can start giving your angels assignment. Man, I lost my keys. Angel, in the name of Jesus, help me find my keys. And pretty soon there are a place that you already looked. How did that happen? The angel did that for you, okay? That's just an example. But I like what it says in Psalm 103, verse 20. Bless the Lord. Well, the beginning, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. But verse 20 says, bless the Lord, you his angels that excel in strength, and do his commandments, and hearken unto the voice of his word. Now, that's important. From Psalm 103, verse 20, we learn quite a bit about angels. Number one, they bless the Lord. Number two, they excel in strength. Number three, they do God's commandments. And number four, they hearken unto the voice of God's word. Now, I want to give you a powerful revelation that you will use the rest of your life and maybe even in heaven. I'm not sure about that, but on this earth for sure. Okay, the revelation is this. You are the one who's required to give voice to the word of God so that the angels can do the will of God on planet Earth. Now, that's a diamond. I want you to rewind it and listen to this over and over again. And in fact, I'll say it again. You're the one who's required by God to give voice to the word of God on planet Earth, so that angels can do the will of God on planet Earth. As a person of faith hides a word in their heart, thinks it with their mind, speaks it with their mouth, uses it in prayer, uses the word of God in praise, uses the word of God to resist the devil like Jesus did in Matthew 4 and in Luke chapter 4 during his temptation. Angels are sent to materialize what you're speaking. And so thus the need to hold fast the confession of your faith without wavering, Hebrews 10, uh, 23. And so when a person speaks God's word in faith, Angels don't know, listen, whether God just spoke or man spoke, because either way, it's God's word. Are you hearing me? Whether God speaks it or you speak it, it's still the word of God being spoken, and angels hearken unto the voice of the word of God. So angels do the word of God, and you're the one that gives it voice. I hope you think about that till you get the revelation. God's word is still God's word even though it was spoken by a human being in faith. You know what I'm saying? A non-believer can quote a lot of scriptures and stuff like that, but when you have faith in your heart and the love of Jesus in you, and you have got the life, character, nature, power, ability of God on the inside of you, when you speak the word of God, bam, there's power. Angels hearken unto the voice of the word of God spoken by believers who speak God's word. Okay? And then they go to work to help them materialize God's will and your desire on earth through angels. 
So what have we learned about angels? Angels are ministering spirits and minister for us, not just to us. They do minister to us. We see it all through the Bible, but they minister for us, Hebrews 1.14. Angels hearken to and obey God's word, Psalm 103, verse 20. We're the ones that speak God's word and give voice to the word of God without wavering, uh, Hebrews 10.23, don't cast away your confidence. And so we're the ones that give voice to it so that angels can minister and move. Angels come to earth because of our words. That was Daniel 10, verse 12. That's what the angel said after tw 21 days. Man, and then we saw that angels war against principalities and powers that war against us. And so be before going on, take the time to absorb the full impact of this, this truth. Angels come because of your words. The downside is, in like manner, if you speak negative, unproductive, idle, fearful, unbelieving words, then demons come. And so release your angels by speaking the word of God. Don't release demons by complaining and moaning and all that kind of stuff. I'm Pastor Glenn Curry, and I speak blessing and victory to you in the name of Jesus. Uh, you bind and you restrict those angels with your with the, the demons with your words, and you release angels with your words. It's a, it's a marvelous thing to be uh, connected to God. Don't forget to view my 30-day devotional on healing, my 30-day lesson on uh, faith. And I'm telling you, I love you. I'm for you all the way. Please like and subscribe and comment below. Ring the bell so that you can get notifications. Uh, this is going to be, I don't know how many days, but I'm teaching on spiritual warfare. The first part was negative because we're looking at the Bible on what the Bible says about the devil. Now let's see some victory in Jesus. I love you. Have a great day.